Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One, and we have a very special guest with us today. Um, a man who needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him one anyway. Um, I don't know much about this individual. He just kind of showed up on our doorstep, but, uh, you know, he's a good looking guy. He's got on shoes that I would say uh, probably defined his character to a T. And he goes by the name of Remdog. Remdog, welcome. Dog. Remdog, yeah. Let's crack into another one. All right. Um, all right, guys. For a second, I want you to imagine that you were a teenage girl. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Every Easiest moment thing. of my life. Right. Ever since I saw Barbie, I felt more like a teenage girl more and more each day. Right. Right. Exactly. Any man who saw Barbie is starting to feel like a teenage girl and accept it. So, so just now I want you to imagine you're driving, right? And all of a sudden, I don't know what happens, but your car flips. Oh, shit. Real bad day. <laughs> oh, and yeah. you're and you're in and out yeah, of consciousness. Yeah. Oh, okay. and all of a sudden, it's a you're, real bad day. You somebody pops your airbag and goes to grab you and pull you out of the car. Who would be the last person you suspect to be doing that? Uh, in my case, David Duke. <laughs> You go. What's yours? <laughs> yeah, the first thing that came to mind was fucking uh, Jeffrey Epstein. Go okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, that's, that's a like, good one too. Not gonna be getting me out no, of the car. No, now. no, no. Unless I'm like a 14 year old. Yeah, you're way too old for him. Yeah. yeah. So this 17 year old girl was rescued by none other than Hulk Hogan. Okay, the Hulkster. The Hulkster. So you know he's like, "Hey, brother, gotta get you out the car." She's like, "I'm a woman." And so, yeah, so I guess there, uh, Hulk Hogan was driving, this, he's, this girl flipped in front of him, and he got out and, like, saved her from this, like, I guess it wasn't a fiery inferno, no. or, like, whatever, but uh, he just happened to be uh, hanging out in, uh, I don't know, probably Malibu or something would be my guess is where this happened. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I wonder if he did the whole voice when he did it, too. <laughs> if he you did. there, get out of the car. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, these 24-inch pythons are pulling you out of the driver's seat. Just yep. narrating it as he's doing it. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good one. I, I think that Hulk Hogan is still a hero, you know? He's is proved he? to us that he's still a hero. He's still a real American, and yeah. he will fight for what's right. <laughs> he fights for what, saving girls. Honestly, yeah. What's it, more Hulk Hogan than saving a woman in need? An underage woman? Actually, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very. What, what's more American? It's on brand. Hulk Hogan saving an underage woman. That's, that's a good story, Jonas. It's very. It's not very often that you hear about like a celebrity doing something good in the news. For sure. Right. Any more nowadays, it's like something awful, or they're on some list or something. Yeah. yeah or all of a sudden. Were, yeah. I thought you were gonna say The Rock, and I was like, <laughs> that would have made sense. I mean, it almost was. Yeah. Based, yeah. it was like The Rock from the eighties. Yeah, it was eighties <laughs> rock. Eighties <laughs> rock. 80s, uh, 80s white rock, or I should say that rock is probably like what two thousands uh, Samoan Hulk, Hulk Hogan. Hogan? <laughs> is he Samoan? <laughs> yeah. He's something. I don't I know. Think so, yeah. I think he is. Yeah, I think he's part black, part Samoan, because he has like the Islander like tattoo, like for Samoan, like that, that they get. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna guess his lineage right now. I'm not. We're <laughs> Let's not gonna play, play guess their race. <laughs> Who's not, up next? I love that game, actually. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's one of my favorite games. In fact, what was the race of the girl who was in the car accident? It did not say. Uh, Let's mm. guess her race. <laughs> yeah. I oh. guess she was. I'm not the one to bring up Hulk Hogan's phone calls in the past. Oh she, yeah. Wait, was she driving or was she? Because if she's a teenage girl, like she was she, 17. Oh, yeah. she's 17. Okay, so she's legal age to drive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, she. Yeah, it she wasn't did like it. she was on the lamb or anything. She didn't yeah. steal the car from her parents. Yeah. Have you ever had your life save, uh, Rim Dog? Um, I haven't had my life saved. No. But so I, you haven't accepted Jesus as your personal no, Lord. I, you didn't realize this was a Christian yeah, yeah. podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Bible verse? <laughs> <laughs> so you haven't? Yeah, no one saved your life before. Never well, been in a but, situation. No, I mean. No. No? No? Okay. I was trying to think. Like, there was one time that I could have died. I was, like, walking along a street, and I was about to cross a road, and, like, a car was taking a left. And, like, as I was about to step out into the street, I was like, there's no fucking way she sees me. And, like, the second I say that, she, like, takes off right in front of me. So that oh was, like, God. probably about the closest I've ever gotten. Okay, okay. Or there was, like, I, I visited the um, Rocky Mountains when I was younger, like, with my parents, and my dad 
wanted to play a prank on my mom. Um, <laughs> so like, okay. All right. like the roads are like they're like up in the mountains, and there's like a two foot high like a uh, little rock outpost, I guess, little thing like that are like the edges of it. Mm-hmm. So I like look over the edge, and you can see there's like a foot or two of grass, and then it drops off. So I go, I look at my mom and go, hey, mom. And I jump over the edge and then just like duck down. Oh, my God. <laughs> she freaked out. And then I popped up right there. And I was like, it wasn't, <laughs> like, it wasn't my idea. Gotcha. It was my dad's idea. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, well, it wasn't that, me. That, that's a classic dad prank. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, let's me... pretend our kid's killing himself <laughs> in front of mom. Hey, hey go pretend you're dead. <laughs> go She'll pretend love it. you're dead. Yeah, that's pretty She'll much love it. it. Okay. All right. I don't know if I've ever been saved. TNT, you ever been saved? Uh, I mean, I've definitely been to like the hospital, like some serious shit before. I will say that. I would say is that probably those doctors saved yeah. me, but I never really got to say, you know, hey, thanks for making thanks, sure doc. I didn't die or anything. Yeah, I was on a lot of drugs at the time, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But heroin I heroin overdose, you know, <laughs> con- <laughs> the, the typical. I, I will have to say is that it's probably one of the scariest things to realize that you went to sleep in your own bed and then wake up with like a bunch of people over you. It's kind of like that whole like abducted by aliens thing. Yeah. Yeah, or like when you black out drunk and wake up in some strange person's bed. I don't know, Jonas. Why don't you tell us more about that experience? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just hypothetically. Yeah. Tell us saying, about your time. You, you wake saved. up in jail. You go out drinking with your buddies. Wake Wait, up in what? the pen. <laughs> you know, normal stuff. Kid yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. You just go to sleep. You wake up in a New Mexico uh, an abortion clinic. You're just wow. like, what am I doing yeah, here? I don't. Exactly. I said New Mexico. <laughs> yeah, it's not racist. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have never been saved either. I don't think I almost uh, I almost died in my car a few times though, yeah. like for sure. Have you? Like, yeah, like I, um, up, in, up north or down I here? have I have three different times spun out my. I was going seventy miles an hour and I've spun out in the rain, spun out in the snow, Oof. and hit a deer. All going seventy Probably miles an hour. Drive a little slower. <laughs> I mean, why would I go slower than the speed limit? So, but the the one that freaked me out the most was the rain because I hydroplaned and spun out. I crossed the meet the uh, like because it was oh, like shit. the freeways where there's like grass in between the the mm. two different lanes. I slid through the grass and stopped facing oncoming traffic with my tire on the shoulder of the other one. Like, so if I would have slid like another two foot, like a car would have just like crushed me. And then I just like, my car had stalled out, but I like, I was like, please start. And I turned it and it started. I just put it in drive, drove across the median, went on my way. Like nothing ever (laughs) happened. Car was fine. Okay. Okay. The car was good. Yeah. 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 The Deary actually didn't even mess up my car very much because I cut the wheel on it which you shouldn't have done i shouldn't have done it was like three o'clock in the morning i was just driving hit, down the freeway the but i did i clipped mm. it so I, my right front hit the deer that was coming across so it just spun me out and it didn't really all it did was dent my quarter panel or whatever didn't even mess up the headlight i got very lucky on that one because if it would have hit the front dude it would have went it would have been like that scene in tommy boy but in the front i know you've never seen tommy boy i've never no i've never seen Tommy. have you ever seen tommy boy no okay yeah god damn he's old dude it's all right it's (laughs) It's all right (laughs) so one in the room it's perfectly fine yeah um (laughs) (laughs) he's gonna tell us about old movies and he's in charlie chaplin where i walked to the school you kids don't remember ella fitzgerald do you i'm like yes yes you remember when that nat king cole song came out in 47 let me put it on the cd player (laughs) <laughs> yeah, wow, like, CDs are old people CD stuff. Yeah, that, is, <laughs> well, that is like you don't get the. I remember like burning CDs for people, okay. and like I, I saw something uh, like last week where some some kid was like, "You mean you literally used to burn seat They didn't understand. Oh they no, like, they didn't. Get I was it. like, "No, you just put it in the computer and like press whatever, and it would do that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember when I got one of those, and I was like the hot shit. Yeah. People were like, yeah. You'd be like, you pay like whatever for it. Everyone's like, I'll give you 10 bucks to burn me a CD or whatever. You can make whatever, fit like eight songs on it because that's all you could do. Like CDs for girls, dude. You're like, yep. listen to the hidden messages behind it. And you're like, oh, this I, song or whatever. I used to have a mix that I would give to all my friends. I'd be like, I just made this mix, the R&B mix. You're going to yeah. love it. Yeah. Or, yeah, D'Angelo's yeah. number three. You're going to love that like, shit. like, songs for your girlfriend. Like, you get 10 songs yeah, on the thing. Yeah, I did. I've done that Is before. That the, are people just making Spotify playlists for each other now? Like, hey, girl, I made you a Spotify playlist. Check it out. I feel the same. It's not you know? the same, but yeah, I guess. There's no effort involved. Extent. You, you used to have to the pirate street. the song, download it, burn it, bring it to her. Now you're just, like, clicking buttons and making a playlist. Bro, if you look, if you really go back far enough, people used to record them off of the radio using a cassette tape. <laughs> Absolutely. Like insanity. The things we used to go through to impress women. 
Be like, oh, I can't. It's like at the end, it's like, DJ Billy Dix here. I'll catch you on. And you're like, it's like, I just want the end of the song, Billy. <laughs> DJ Billy Dix. Okay. You know him. It's a good He's radio the, station. Uh, Q104, you know the him. rocket. <laughs> I do not know Billy Dix. Billy, <laughs> Billy Dix, number one Why? DJ on the rocket. <laughs> Billy Dix and the squeeze. <laughs> it's going to get crazy today with Billy Dix. <laughs> Billy Dix, special guest star, The Vag. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anyways, I'm that oh, note. got Billy Dixon the Vag coming through. Well, that- <laughs> good morning, St. Louis. The fuck. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas, TNT, and Remdog. Uh, we out. <laughs>